That's what I think. It may be. Okay. I believe a vast majority of it's going to be found. Were they paid you by the brick? Do you know how many you had? I know I had 15. Okay. Well, it was 15. Right. More honest than I thought. The reason I say that is, is when we get, say, 50, the person usually thinks they have 25. They were told not to look at it, don't touch it, or anything like that. And in turn, they're just being ripped off on the transport. Line. Right now, we got a mother being caught with $1.2 million in illegal substances during a traffic stop. What did you do? Did you do an illegal U-turn? Or did somebody sick someone on you, huh? Which one of the two do you think? Go in the comments, let me know. In the meantime, if you like reactions like this, consider hitting that like button. Definitely subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell. Let's see how this is about to play out. Let's see how slick she thought she was. Yeah, that was uh, my company. Okay, like I said. so this so isn't your company? No, no. What's in here right now? It's just uh, some sofas and my luggage. Just that. Sofas and yeah. luggage? On a rainy day in Ohio, Ohio troopers conducted their regular routine on the highway where they caught speeders and investigated car accidents. However, on this particular day, troopers noticed a Penske truck driving extremely close to a semi truck and also speeding 10 miles over the limit. The troopers immediately conducted a traffic stop, but what they would find would be extremely shocking. <laughs> The trooper performed his usual duties when conducting a traffic stop. To him, this appeared to be a normal stop, but when he made contact with the driver, he uncovered that this was not just a normal traffic stop. It was something much bigger than that. Not too bad. I'm gonna pick up this penny that oh, fell yeah, out of your fine. door, okay? Is this your truck? No, it's a rental. A rental? Did you rent it? Yes. Okay, do you have the rental agreement and your license? Yes. That was also down there. I didn't want that to blow out. No, no problem. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you turn your headlights on? Yes. Also, be careful with how close you're getting to some of those other cars, okay? You got in behind that semi. You just go around them or back off of them. I don't want you to crash or anything, okay? okay? Making them feel comfortable. Arizona? Yes. Where are you coming from? From Arizona. Coming from yeah. Arizona. Where are you headed to? To here to um, Harrisburg. Harrisburg? Yes. Pennsylvania? Yes, Pennsylvania. Okay. All right. What takes you over there? Because I'm going to move over there. You're moving? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you seem nervous. Are you doing this for our company? A company? Yeah. No, it's because I used to move things at other times, uh, so that's why. Okay. So, where are you um, taking the truck to? To, um, it's going to come back. The trooper immediately knew something was strange. The car was back. rented under a different name, and the driver claimed it was her company. Additionally, she mentioned she was going to drive the truck back, even though she stated she was moving. You said it's not her company. Okay. You're going to do what now? I'm going to take one stop and then bring that, come back and then... Oh, that. so you're going to use this truck yeah, again? Yeah. Okay. When did you rent this? It hmm. was on Wednesday. Wednesday? Oh, sorry, this Wednesday? Wednesday? Yes. Okay. All right. Have you had any tickets or anything else? No, nothing. Okay. So do you work for a moving company? No, I used to work. Okay. Yeah, but I, I don't work. You no don't more. do that anymore because yeah. it looks like you rented it under this. Uh, Andrea. Yeah, that was uh, my company. Okay. Like I said. So I this isn't your company. No, no. What's in here right now? It's just uh, some sofas and my luggage. Just that. Sofas and yes. luggage. Okay. And it belongs to you. Yes. 
Okay. Yes. I hear this a me. lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And if you're doing it for pay, that's fine. I'm no, no, it belongs to me. It belongs okay. to me. All right, and then you're gonna. So why did you? Why are you gonna drive the truck all the way back? Because, like I say, because um, I'm coming uh -huh. to move over here, and then I'll go back, and then bring another stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, bear with me. Let me do some checking on some things. But that's why I have you stopped. Okay. Uh -huh. You're here already. Where are you? Uh, we all saw in the beginning the truck hardly had anything in it. For her to say that she's bringing stuff there and then going back to bring more stuff, number one, that sounds reckless right there. You would just get a large enough truck to do it in one shot. Or you would get two trucks. But to go there and come back, that's going to be very expensive on the miles. No one's going to do that. You understand what I'm saying? So already that's a red flag. And then you saying that you have to go back to get more stuff when the truck is not even loaded. That's another red flag right there. So now you're going to have him fishing. Where been sleeping at? At the hotel. Oh, you yeah, slept at the hotel? Yeah, I'm... Okay. How many nights? It's two nights. You spent two nights in a hotel? Yeah. No, one night, like, I, I came on Wednesday. Uh -huh. I slept in the hotel, and then yesterday I slept in the hotel. And... Okay. All right. Well, bear with me for one second. I'm going to check some things out, and I'll be back with you, yeah. okay? Thank All right. You. I'm just going to leave that stuff up there yeah, for you. Yeah, no okay? problem. All right. This is a problem. So she said she rented this on Wednesday, which she did. Today's Friday. Smell that. You smell the air freshener? Yeah. It's all over the rental agreement. Okay. Does it? It doesn't smell like a car air freshener. It smells like a deodorizer, like a detergent or like a Febreze or something. Why is that suspicious? I mean, what if she likes to smell good? What if she likes the smell of fragrance? Like, I don't know. If you ask me, he's doing the most right now. This is just doing the most. He's smelling the paper and trying to figure out what kind of scent it is or what type of freshener or deodorizer. You're doing too much right there. So she rented this in Tucson, pickup date on the 19th. What? Not according to that. But here's the problem. She won't tell me the truth. She rented this under the uh, delivery, which is a company. She mm -hmm. said she has a moving, she had a moving company. She doesn't work there anymore. She's going to Harrisburg, PA. And she's taking it back to Tucson. I'm like, if you're moving your stuff to Harrisburg, why are you driving this back? And she's like, well, I'm gonna go back and get more stuff. Huh. Well, she's not gonna make it back to Tucson and back to Harrisburg and back in the next four days. Huh. So, hmm. Three days, watch that break for the Arizona deal. She's either lying about the moving stuff and this is not her stuff or she's doing something else that she shouldn't be doing. That's really the only legit, the reason for this. I mean, this is a... How much did this cost? $1,100. Oh my God, rental. Troopers carefully examined the rental agreement and the woman's story did not make sense whatsoever. Backup was immediately called so they could search the vehicle to see if the woman might be hiding something. She's behind the... Okay. Uh, she's by herself. Okay. So, coming it's out of Tucson. Big old lock. Coming from Tucson, going to Harrisburg. So... Is she nervous? Smell that. Smell that. It's air pressure. It's like... Downy or something. That's what I said. It's like a softener, yeah, yeah. fabric softener or something. You know, me and my wife will shoot me. Huh? I'll come smell like that, my wife will shoot me. <laughs> yeah, if, I'm on the phone with Epic. They're running. I'm still her. walking. Okay. So the phone. 
See a cop or he's just riding along. Dog out. I never agree with this dog stuff right here. They can have all sorts of tricks to make it seem like it hit something just so they can look. We'll never know. That's what I want to know. That's the work. hype right now they about to eat off of that right there so listen you saw how you saw that phone in the back and, and inside the cushion my my guess is they they, they don't understand how technology worked they probably put that there to, to track the car but all you needed was an air tag you didn't have to go that crazy bro leave it here we'll get pictures that thing is filled up oh, okay, she's about to be done and done, just put done, the lock done. back on let's go The woman was immediately taken into custody. You see, this is what baffles me right now. They paying her to smuggle this, but she's about to drop the entire dime on the whole entire operation. I already see this happening right now. You ain't see the look in her eyes? She was thinking about it, which means is she's gonna go through with it. I don't know who who was the brainiac behind picking her to do this, but I could have saw this a mile away that she was gonna drop the dime. The officers were completely confused as to how she possessed over $1.2 million in illegal substances. They took her back to the station where their investigation would continue. Next door that's open to the right. What do you think you had? All of it. 
That's what I think. It may be. Okay. I believe a vast majority of us can be found. Mm. Were they paid you by the brick? Do you know how many you had? I know I had 50. Oh, well, it was 50. Right. More honest than I thought. The reason I say that is, is when we get, say, 50, the person usually thinks they have 25. They were told not to look at it, don't touch it, or anything like that. And in turn, they're just being ripped off on the transport. Line. So, all right. Where did they pay you in advance? Are they paying you on conclusion of getting to there or back? Back. Or how much? Would you mind answering some questions for me about it? No problem. It? Okay. Uh, how much are you getting paid to do this? Like uh, one thousand for you. Or this one. One thousand each kilo. So you get fifty thousand dollars. Yes. To do this trip. Jeez. In pesos or American money? No, in no, American money. Fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Sheesh. A thousand dollars. Well, think about it like this: each brick probably costs about what? 30 40 maybe 50 y'all let me know i don't know anything about that and i can care less about knowing anything like that you understand because me i fly straight baby but with that being said hey man listen that was a nice little come up but is it really worth it 50 grand in a few days or in a week she does this a few times a year she get close to a millionaire you understand what i'm saying but 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 Sometimes you look at people and you just you just ask yourself, what do you need this money for? What do you you don't even look like this money is on you, near you, around you, for you. It's being in use. So what what is are you hoarding it? Like where is it going? We don't see it. Uh, how many times have you done this trip before? The first time. The first time. And you got mm. caught by us? Yes. No. Okay. Like first time this far or first time moving though? Like how far? Like, like outside of Arizona, California. No, this is like the first time every. This okay. is the first time. Okay. Um, so they were gonna give you fifty thousand. Is that their cell phone that's in the couch? Oh no, that cell phone. It was my kid. One of my kids. He, uh, he, um, how can I say it in English? Does the guys understand Spanish? Nobody? A little bit. He, he lost his phone and I think he put it in the sofa and I put that sofa in the... Okay. We just thought maybe phone. you were being tracked. That's why I talked to you about that on the way back. Was my kid's phone? I didn't know whose phone it was, man. Yeah, he, he has in Facebook and Instagram in his phone. You can okay. see it. Yeah. Right. So he does his phone. That's so, my son's phone. What, um... <clears throat> You were just going to deliver that? They were they just going to give you the number when you got there? Yeah, they were just going to call me because they don't call me. They just okay. over there say, you're going and we're going to call you when you get there. Did you know how I much was know. in there? 50 kilos. 50 kilos. Did you put that in there or did somebody else put it? I put it in there. So you met the person in Phoenix or Tucson and got it? Yes, and I just got it and I just put it right there and I just came. What were those bags covered up with? Mm -hmm. What was on top of the bags? Right now, it was a blanket, I think. The woman refused to cooperate with officers and stated she would rather go to jail. She also mentioned that she was doing this to make extra money for her husband and kids. Let us know what you think in the comments below. That's because she was doing this for her husband, not for the kids. She was wilding out with that one right there. She jumped out the window. But 50 grand, if she would have got away with that, mm, so that's what they paying. Now they're going to start paying attention to Arizona plates being anywhere near Pennsylvania. She played herself super big time you know she's not coming out anytime soon unless she gives someone up she will be doing more than double digits so hey more power to her with that being said if you like what you saw and you like videos like this make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell go ahead and leave a comment as well see you in the next one